Well, hey guys, today is December 24th, 2023, Christmas Eve day. So, update, I'm doing fairly good, um, you know, having, having pain in the knee, uh, just the normal stuff that you have to deal with, and but I am moving forward. Range of motion is pretty good. I'm up to almost 90 degrees um, in the flex of, of the knee. Um, where the sutures are, where the incision is, I still got the bandage on that. Um, you know, so it's real tight there. You know, so, you know, issues, but they're, they're normal issues. Uh, but I'm doing all my exercises, doing everything the way I'm supposed to. You know, I've had some bad days, and I've had some good days. And and right now, we'll just call this a good day. Uh, you know, pain is manageable. <clears throat> so, the last video, I you know, I said, ask questions, and I'll answer them. Well, I got a few questions, and, and then one kind of question statement. <clears throat> So I'll answer those real quick. And Easy Living Sherpa asked, did they check my lung capacity and how is it? Um, I was actually a little surprised that they didn't give me the little, you know, thing to work your lungs with. Um, even when I came out of surgery, never once did I have to do that. Um, you know, so um, i I know how to do the breathing exercises, and so, you know, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to, minus these bastards. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so the lungs are doing good. Um, you know, I, ha I had to take off uh, the compression socks, uh because of the swelling, it ended up cutting off circulation to my leg. My leg started to discolor, um, you know, just increased pain. So I took the compression sock off and, uh, you know, alleviated 90% of that pain I was in. So they're not going back on. Um, you know, before anybody says, oh, well, the risk of blood clots, you know, I get it. All right. Um, but I'm doing all the exercises I'm supposed to be doing. I'm farther along than what most people are um, at this stage. Uh, my home care that comes in, you know, they're taking good care of me. And, and you know, frankly, they're impressed with how well I'm doing. Uh, I have my two-week checkup with my doctor here on Wednesday. And so we'll go from there. But, no, it's, you know, yeah, I'm a little short of breath, but it's because I'm not really... Up moving around as much as I would like to be uh, you know typically on an average day I walk you know a couple of miles and you know working around the house you know so I get the exercise that I'm not getting right now um, oh dang it and, and I remember somebody asked asked this and I don't remember who it was I didn't write it down um, Asked if I ever have any problems with anesthesia or if I had any problems. No, I've never in my life had problems with anesthesia. And this this knee surgery was uh, surgery number 15. Out of those 15 surgeries, I have been put completely under, um, we'll, we'll just call it half. Uh, you know, a lot of that 15 was on my right eye, and yeah, they would just keep have me in a twilight, not completely under. Um, but no, I, I've never had any any issues with anesthesia. Actually, I kind of like it. It's like <laughs> next thing I know, I'm I'm awake again. Um, but no, no problems with anesthesia. Uh, Susan asks, "What kind of music do you like?" I like good music. <laughs> uh, I like all kinds of music. You know, I, I don't care for rap. Uh, I don't care for opera. I don't care for 
the old twangy country, you know, there's a beer or tear in my, uh, that old whiny stuff. I just don't like it. Um, everything else is pretty much on the table. Um, I prefer, you know, the 70s and 80s rock. Um, favorite band, Pink Floyd, hands down. Um, but yeah, I, I, I like a whole variety of music, you know. Um, and then Tom Mann had commented slash question that it seems that I'm having a hard time coming to grips with these experiences and that you're not crazy. Um, no, I don't have a problem coming to grips with, with the things that I've experienced trying to understand it, uh, you know, there's a whole different ball game and no, I know I'm not crazy. Um, you know, I've, I've experienced what I've experienced. I've seen what I've seen. I've heard what I've heard and I felt what I felt. Um, uh, nobody on the face of the planet has the ability to change that. Um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely, absolutely fine, um, uh, with coming to grips with it or, or, you know, having a hard time coming to grips with it. No, there, there's no hard time. <clears throat> What's hard is with how we've been taught, how we've been raised, you know, what's possible, what's not possible, what exists, what doesn't exist. And the hard part is leaving all that crap behind um, because we're, we're infants. We don't know anything. And, you know, and yet, you know, I've got certificates hanging on the wall and I'm a doctor of this and, you know, and I got degrees and this and this and this and this is, what can exist and what can exist and but you know just all this bullshit um you know that's the hard hard part coming to coming to terms with is letting go of all this shit that we've been fed our whole lives um other than that no i'm good with everything man <laughs> I, I enjoy the experiences that I have. Um, some are extremely intense. And some are like, you know, little itty bitty experiences, but they all add up. They, they all accumulate to, to display this picture, to give us an understanding of, of, of what might be going on with this. So, there, I uh, answered some questions. Um, anybody wants me to go any more in depth on it? I can. Um, I would just say go back and start watching the videos from the beginning, you know, and, and see where this is, where this has come from. I'm enjoying my time out in the garage. This is... The second time I've been out here since I've been down from my knee surgery and the first time was just coming out to make sure the garage was still here. Uh, Mama ran into the store real quick and so I'm sitting out here in the garage and getting a little change of scenery. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting claustrophobic at home. Uh, I'm staring at the same four walls. I'm sleeping in my recliner right now because it's just more comfortable because I have to sleep on my back and laying in my bed. You know, I, I want to curl up in a ball and I can't do that right now. So I'm sleeping on the recliner. Uh, but I'm up probably, probably every hour on the hour doing, you know, walking around the house, weather permitting, I'm outside. Uh, you know, I'll walk up the street and back, you know, do about a couple hundred yards round trip. So, uh, progressing right along, just waiting to get through this. So with that being, 
uh, taken care of. You guys, I really, really, really hope and pray that, you know, that you're with family and you're with friends and enjoying, enjoying this Christmas season and, you know, and, and not to forget what this season is all about, you know, what, what Christmas is. And, you know, as the celebration for us Christians is the celebration of the birth of of our Lord and Savior. And yeah, I get it. You know, this isn't when he was born. This is just the time that was set aside. You know, but I know all the, you know, all the different stories, left and right, middle, doesn't matter to me. It's the day that, that we as Christians use to recognize the birth of our Lord and Savior, our King. Um, it's about spreading love you know and that's that was his whole message love forgiveness love forgiveness forgiveness love and you know so that's that's what i focus on you know with this with this holiday of christmas is sharing love and making sure that you know that everybody knows that no matter what you've done you're forgiven you know it's it's just a beautiful thing, you know. I'm I'm the worst person I've ever met, and to know that know that I'm forgiven for all that, it it just is a relief. It it's great news, and and I love every bit of it. But so you all have a very 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 merry Christmas, and a very happy New Year. As we're in these holidays. Please, 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 please pay attention to your surroundings. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Love yourselves. Love each other. And just stay safe. That being said, I love each and every one of you. Thank you for uh, taking the time to listen to me. We'll be back. Peace out.